connect with you beautiful people of Baau district. Of course, I like to thank my dearest cousin, Dr. Lily Beth Pajardo Moralde, the principal of the Baau National High School, who personally invited me to be part of this district webinar. My greetings, of course, goes also to our dear principals, our faculty, our personnel, the learners, and of course, a partner of development, our dear parents. When Dr. Lily Beth sent me a message asking me if it's okay if I could be part of this district webinar. Personally, I find it an opportunity to be able to help everyone who at this point in time where we are experiencing the effects of pandemic is truly important. We cannot go away with the fact that we are in the midst of COVID-19 and it has brought us different experiences. I'm sure that our topic this afternoon will be able to enlighten you all. I just hope that I will be able to contribute in allowing ourselves to see beyond COVID-19. Indeed, in the midst of this invisible enemy, there really is a grip of hope. So allow me now to move on to the presentation. And this presentation will allow us to fully digest the very important and significant issues and concerns that at this point in time is really needed. Occurred, of course, on the very key element of our district webinar, Grip of Hope on Mental Health Education and Psychological Preparedness of Teachers, Learners and Parents. But of course, we will anchor on the specific theme, enhancing mental capabilities of teachers, learners, and parents in coping with the new normal. Allow me to present to you all the flow of the presentation so that we will be focused. We will con be contained in a very direct manner, guided by this. Um, issues and concerns. I will be moving on next to reflections and then leveling off and then the discussion proper of certain subtopics, the realities of the pandemic, lived experiences on education and its impact on the lives of our teachers, the learners and parents. And then of course, how will we be able to cope with the pandemic with that edge intervention on mental health and psychological preparedness of our teachers, learners, and parents? And the most significant thing that I'd like to share with you all, the need to enhance mental capabilities of teachers, learners, and parents in coping with the new normal. So we will, I'll be presenting you certain tips, of course, all these things that I will be sharing with you are results of googling, from readings, from learnings, where I digest them all in order that we will be able to fully understand the realities affecting us in this critical times. From there, I will be moving on to a challenge is there really life in the new normal? Do you think we will be able to make it? Our teachers, of course, I know that um, it's admittedly, admittedly, there are really critical points in our uh, lives 
at this point, but I know you will be able to make it. Of course, to our learners, you might be struggling now with the kind of educational platform that we will be giving you, no? that DepEd has designed for you, but nevertheless, the challenge will be there. And our dear parents, I know that our dear parents uh, are also experiencing a parallel anxiety that our teachers, our, our learners are also experiencing, but together we will make things happen. That's a way forward. So before anything else, once again, May I request everyone at least the greet the virtual greetings that we could do is to give a big smile just in case you are alone just give yourself a big smile and of course if you are in group give each other a smile there is a greek of hope in those smiles smile though your heart is aching okay and of course certain reflection very very important i usually start you no know, in providing some spiritual nourishment because this is what we need in this time and i like to start a quote from psalm 37 verse 5 god has a reason for allowing things to happen we may never understand his wisdom, but we simply have to trust his will. I know at a point we were all asking, why God? Why has COVID happened? Why is it in our midst? Why so suddenly the world stopped? We did not even had enough time to prepare we were caught what a big surprise but of course in the midst of this pandemic we wait in hope for the lord he is our help and our shield psalm 33 verse 20. all of us i'm sure will believe that the Lord above is our greatest protector and those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not be faint Isaiah 40 verse 31 because God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm 46 verse 1. The bottom line, there is an inspiration to see beyond COVID-19, to be able to find hope in God that all this will end in the midst of covid there is still life for all of us so let me ask everybody how are you feeling kumusta po kamo kumusta ano matian kading mga kapwa ko maestra ading kana tong pinaka importante e prioridad sa buhay ta ana silahan and of course, our very supportive parents. Mangumusta basang si Mam Dulce. So how are you feeling? So look at these faces here in our midst. Are you happy? Do you feel embarrassed? Scared? You may be nervous. You may be goofy, surprised, quiet, annoyed, cool sad, tired, excited, 
bored or you may be sick or we may be experiencing frustration or are we angry or do you still find yourself funny or proud i'm asking you this to level ourselves in a certain plus one whatever is your feeling i will not question that that's okay it's okay not to be okay for those of you who still find joy who are still able to smile though in pain okay that's a very good disposition in life and i think that is what makes life go round in the midst of covid i will respect whatever feeling you now have it's okay i'm sure this feeling that you have is due to the kind of experience you might be in whether you are a teacher our learners our parents ang kupo kita ngamin na naranasan na pagmati but conscious of this feeling i'm sure especially if this feeling are moving towards um negativity i know you'll be able to find time to smile you'll be able to find time to have excitement every waking up morning after all i am still alive so let's go back yeah let's acknowledge the realities of the pandemic how did this all start what happened everything so it is a reality and it is a fact that the pandemic has caused unprecedented disruptions economically socially politically and academically in fact the whole world stopped by the way i got this presentation from a professor from um Cebu Normal University you know during a tech webinar also and of course this is more than just a health crisis we were affected in the educational sector we also experience the so-called educational crisis and this is not just here in Baao not just in Bicol or in our country but this is a global educational crisis of course the academic continuity during the lockdown remember when we first were told you don't have to go out okay so all those um, young children senior citizens are strictly on quarantine sa bahay lockdown okay para makaiwas at para tayong mga ibo nagpupumiglas na makalipad i know no ba all of a sudden all of a sudden we could no longer see each other but fortunately i was on a sabbatical leave kaya um it was a year long sabbatical leave so when the government said um everybody is prevented from going out freely from eating in restaurant from going to church or no going around the mall i was used to that because in my sabbatical leave i used to stay at home when i do not have engagement but for many of you in fact all of you all of a sudden okay there was lockdown there was ezq gcq this was a big problem to all of us and we were struggling no we were struggling and this was a challenge for our teachers and students especially that we were so used to deliver face to face you know that our traditional method of attending classes is still face to face and then all of a sudden the whole school stopped ma it was cut short and the educational delivery was 
greatly affected. Therefore, the pandemic has indeed created a new reality that educational institutions grappled with. There was a sudden disturbance on the normalcy of our educational platform. And it was difficult to handle. It was a crisis. We were pressured. We were so stressed. Not only because the delivery of our lessons was greatly affected, but it was no longer a normal life for all of us. We were transitioned to the so-called new normal. But more than that, if you look into a bigger spectrum, no? it was a worldwide disruption. Okay? The fourth, affecting the fourth industrial revolution and COVID-19 pandemic. And what an effect of that to the jobs where 800 million jobs displaced, according to McKinsey estimates. And of course, 25 million people getting infected worldwide. And with Philippines as the highest so far in Southeast Asia and U.S the highest so far in the whole world. This was indeed a very serious thing that have happened to our lives. And of course, accordingly, no? accordingly worldwide, about 123 countries experienced a countrywide school closure. And One billion ninety one million four hundred thirty nine thousand nine hundred seventy six or about sixty three point two percent of the total learners in the world got impacted. Uh, it's so nice that I was able to get this from a presentation also. And you would just see, no? Kung Ngayon lang iniisip natin na ganito ba kabigat ang ginawa ni COVID. No, maaring sabihin natin, bakit tayo nagkaganito? At maaring tanungin natin, saan ba nagkamali? Whether COVID is man-made or nature-made, the very fact is, COVID has disrupted the normalcy of the global life and of course school closures widened learning inequalities affecting of course vulnerable children and youth disproportionately hence it is a challenge that in the midst of covid all of us in the educational arena still has a responsibility special responsibility to ensure continuity, inclusion, and equity for all our students. They are the reason why we are here. And you, our learners, we just love you so much that we would want you all to live a fuller life, to be able to get the teaching and learning so that you will all be able to move towards the challenge of Industry 4.0 through Education 4.0. No? We want you to graduate properly. And very, very sadly, no, about 87% of the world's student population affect, were affected by the school closures. 1.52 billion learners out of school and related educational institutions and of course, 165 countries affected by school closures and the educational discontinuity. And accordingly, about 78.3 million teachers and educators, and perhaps including the learners and the like, suffered from the effects of the pandemic. 
my God, it was so shocking. No? The whole world suddenly stopped. So, what are the realities of the pandemic? No? What are the lived experiences on education? And how has it impacted the lives of our teachers, learners, and parents? So if I ask you, um, perhaps Baao District, no, all the schools in Baao District, we were all in the same boat. No, we were all in the same boat. We were grappling, groping. No? There was so much uh, disturbance. There was so much anxiety, fear. No? We were all in the same situation. So, the very thing that we have no, and we did protect were our students. So immediately, you know, health protocols were provided to us. Yeah, and all of a sudden, we were all wearing our masks. And right now, it's not just masks, you know, face masks, but even face shields are already being required along with the hand washing, the use of sanitizer, um, okay, and many health protocols that we have to observe, especially social distancing. Oh, ito, nang una, hindi pa tayo conscious noon. But right now, uh, there is really a requirement for social distancing. Binago naman ng IATF ang social distancing, pero ibinalik na naman sa dati because according to uh, the Undersecretary of the OH, there is yet no official statement where the lessening of the social distancing will not affect COVID. Generally, no, debt ed is not an exemption. No? So look at these pictures, they all reveal that the pandemic has really affected us so much from our students, the parents, diba? Iba-ibang klase ng uh, sitwasyon. Hence, we learned to use webinar. All of a sudden, we were all connecting through webinars. Our meetings through Zoom, diba? Okay? And ito nga, nauna sila. Parang anong pelikula nga, the mask, ito. So, this is simply to protect themselves from the effect of COVID-19. So, DepEd, along with no, other institutions like state universities and colleges, private and higher education, we were all greatly affected by this pandemic. So, issues came out. No? There were a lot of issues coming out. No? Uh, provided by debt ed, learning while staying at home. So home staying, learning uh, will take place in the home. Teachers, parents support deaf and distance learning platform. Okay, so um, it placed the whole country in this situation. In fact, until now, uh, even colleges and universities are not, no, are not allowed we are all prohibited from holding the face-to-face. -face. In fact, there is this school in, I think, in Isabella where um, their attention was called because they tried to um, do a face-to-face -face class delivery. And this is a big no at this time of pandemic. Okay, so in our country, of course, we were get affected. Unemployment, diba? Tumasa ang employment to 17.7 in April 2020. And so sad that about 7.3 million jobless Filipinos were affected by pandemic. And accordingly, about 400 private schools no, closed down. But in a recent news, hindi na lang yan 400, naging 700 na yan. And I think that will really be investigated already so you could just see no you could just see the vulnerability and the struggling learners no the struggling the struggle of our learners and according to world bank report in the midst of pandemic 
our learners may lose interest in school and at a point they will <clears throat> drop already. Really so sad that it has happened to us. And of course, one thing for sure, and we are all aware by this, we now experience the so-called digital divide, which also impacted the education sector. And I know that there was this uh, situation, you know, we will be using different teaching learning modalities. So we could choose from a modular, modular um, instructional material, uh, learning materials. And then schools may also opt to do online or with the use of radio or perhaps at the end we might be moving to television. Um, most of the um, schools no, were really at a point of not being able to decide fully well, wanting to do online but the experience of the digital device was there. No? And finally, you know, finally, the decision to start classes uh, was also offered by DepEd after President Duterte finally approved the request of um, Secretary Briones. Um, but prior to this, just for uh, a checking of what had happened, there was a, a, a survey provided, no? And from that survey, we would note that 8.8 um, .8 million parents in DepEd chose printed modules. And then about 3.9 million parents wanted blended learning or combination of learning using modules, online classes, television, and radio. And of course, 3.8 wanted to use online learning. Um, 1.4 million parents wanted educational TV. 900,000 parents wanted to use radio-based instruction. And about 500,000 parents wanted to use other mon mon modalities not specified by the agency. So this has, no, has provided um, a really um, a point in time where we really have to decide or else what would happen to the holding of classes. Other issues of course, lived experiences that affected us no? as appearing in the news. All of a sudden there was this news that not all students will be given printed mojo. Diba? We will now be experiencing the work from home scheme for teachers. You will not be allowed unless you get provided. And very sad, no? Deaf and staff also contracted COVID-19. And about 823 students and deaf and staff were also victims of COVID-19. So see how COVID-19 greatly affected a very um, normal life and us all facing now the so-called new normal and so sad according to the report and I think this is another impact of COVID no you can consider this about 3.3 million students have yet to enroll this school year they are still missing huh? and um, that would mean uh, our, our, there are still students who have not enrolled and soon our classes will already start. Now you will now be starting October 5. Um, most, by the way, most of the state universities and colleges and private uh, schools started in August. We started in August 10 while you were given ample time to prepare all the materials you need. No? Um, hence, your opening will be on October 5. And of course, with the situation besetting us, the parents and our students were urged to prepare 
for the shift of the educational system even after the school opening was postponed. This is at least to condition our parents and students that what we have been so familiar or to a kind of educational platform we were all enjoying all of a sudden this has to end okay and along all these lived experiences you know the very reason on how this affected no? how this affected our own teachers our own learners our own parents not only here but global for that matter so according to the world health organization no? the global school-based health survey particularly in the philippines look at this one okay and we have to be fully uh, alert on this 16 percent of the ages 13 to 15 seriously considered suicide okay 13 percent with ages 13 to 15 have attempted suicide one more than one okay during the past year in other words um this is a very critical situation covid or no covid i think this is a very sad reality where the young our students are already mentally no um challenged on how they'll be able to handle the situations around us so this should alert our teachers and our parents this really is a serious thing so learners our dear students out there no um i hope i hope you will be able to realize how beautiful it is to live let's not cut short our life there's so much life even in the midst of covid okay and just in no just in okay according to this um proclamation number 1021 okay from the office of our president the state of calamity in the philippines due to covid 19 is extended effective from for one year from september 13 2020 to september 12 2021 and how do you think will this affect us teachers learners parents the whole educational system the whole world how do you think but um this is i think a way by which the government will be able to use certain mechanisms to ensure that we will all be safe now let's put our trust to the government that they will really be doing the best way in order that we will be safe and sound hence for them to implement measures against the spread of covid 19. so look at this one no uh, um it only shows that it really is a big crisis for all of us men from all walks of life not only us in the educational sector are really suffering to greater extent the effect of covid 19 and it is for us to believe that all this will end no sabi nga may forever ba siguro naman walang forever di ba kaya maayos din ito no may solution din mahanap may vaccine din tayo mabibili no so it's good that we remain positive no we remain hopeful that despite all these lived experiences we are 
having no in our midst causing us to feel anxious causing us to feel disturbed causing us to fear causing us to be um, depressed let's just hope that this realities no this realities will be able to end and that we will be able to face them with so much courage and hope so after presenting to you all the lived experiences that the covid-19 has affected us teachers affected our learners affected our parents how are you feeling about all this this is a way by which i just want you all to confront yourselves right now but these are realities and we cannot do anything about it but to accept the fact that all these things are happening because these are the effects of covid-19 and this is the reason why we are here together in this session because we should be able to find a way to accept the fact that the pandemic is truly a big lesson of our lives but despite that despite that we have to make a stand death ed made a stand that's why secretary briones with all her concern on the state and condition of our faculty the learners and the parents made possible to provide this psychosocial support to all of you and this is a way according to her to prepare everybody to be mentally and emotionally strenuous highlighted of course is the fact that even if no even if life is hard we should be able to fully understand how we will be able to accept and live with all these issues we are in control of our life and being able to handle our life well we will be able to move on with the upcoming opening of the school year very positively that's why there really is a need for us to understand how is it to cope in the new normal and this is a, a way where we will be able to test how healthy we are mentally how psychologically we prepared we are especially that being healthy finding meaning and balance a balanced life will allow us to open better pathways will allow us to handle all this disturbing situations around us and we will remain healthy mentally psychologically emotionally spiritually and the like so for most i know every, we are all know that when you talk about mental health no when you talk about mental health it is our state of well-being where in our own potential we will be able to cope with the normal stresses of life okay productively and fruitfully and still be able to contribute to our community so ito po yung sinasabi ko na amid all these realities there is still a better life for us how if we know how to cope with all this stresses no in life 
of course there are uh, a lot of factors that may contribute to mental health problems okay it may be within the genes or brain chemistry of all of us it may have been caused by a trauma or abuse it may be a family history of mental health problems but what is most important is we can be better and we will be able to connect ourselves completely with the situation so accordingly no mental health is important at every stage of our life from childhood to adolescence through adulthood and from the google images it says that it is a vital part of our life and impacts our thoughts our behaviors and emotions being healthy emotionally can promote productivity and effectiveness in activities like work school or caregiving it plays an important part in the health of our relationships and allows us to adapt to changes in life and cope with adversity so as i was saying no fact, there are factors that contribute to mental health problems that may include um, biological factors such as genes or brain chemistry like it's actually part of your um genetical orientation meaning it it runs no it runs with in your uh, uh, blood it trans within your family system and um this is something where greater attention should be provided no um there are different mental issues that may need may need no further uh help from concern no health authorities but what of those life experiences such as trauma or abuse no uh, this is also a very critical issue and um professional help is also needed that's why in case as teachers or you no know, we will not be able to handle this it is very necessary to recommend this to proper authority so that they will be given the much needed uh, mental health assistance in coordination of course with the parents just in case our students may find themselves that way or even as teachers or even parents no uh, kaya i'm telling you this sinasabi ko po sa inyo para at least alam natin how are we will be able to handle the varied uh, factors that may affect us you know mentally you know of course um family health problems can also affect you know? family health health problems meaning it's also within the system of the family and of course the stress and this is the focus i like to provide where the situation now that we are facing has actually been caused by a very stressful situation and that is with covid yan saan na nga ba to nang galing bakit nangyari ito i think until now we are still asking no kung bakit itong covid na ito ay dumating pa sa buhay natin but as i was saying um, many things happen for certain reasons sometimes it's beyond our understanding or, or our comprehension whether a teacher or a student and a parent it's better now we know no we know the reason why we are feeling this way at least we know that uh, the situation affecting the educational system especially of the bao district or in particular the school that you are in the difficulties no that we might be experiencing has actually been caused by this very uh thing no this invisible enemy that we all have in our midst that's the reason why psychological preparedness is also very necessary um allowing us 
to have a grip of what is happening around them. We will be aware, we will be able to anticipate, and we will be ready on how to respond to the situation. Um, the school year will now open by October 5. You will now have your classes. It will now start. So are you ready now to face the opening of the classes? Um, I know there are still a lot of preparations being done, aside from being physically uh, fit, mentally stable, emotionally balanced, spiritually uh, in place there are still a lot of preparation and with our conversation in this topic it only would like to um, make you realize that you are not alone no, in the midst of pandemic we are together in fighting COVID-19 but the very first thing that we have to do is we have to be no uh, in control of ourselves. You are the master of your own life in that regard. That's why as a teacher, despite the problems, the lived experiences, the problems you're encountering now as regards your instructional materials, as regards the modules that no, you are preparing, that you are reproducing, that you will soon be distributing, or in case there were students who opted to do online, there is digital divide, but you have to know how to reach them through your learning management system. Or are we ready now as um, television or radio host on how you will deliver the lessons? No, there are difficulties. On the part of the students also, will be, they be able to adjust? Uh, they, they felt good seeing the teachers every day being able to um, join their classmates, being able to have baon every day. Ayan, they enjoy those perks. Going out diba, of their houses now, um, they simply have to stay home and do the learning. No? learning, Guided, of course, by the parents. But the parents, of course, are also experiencing certain difficulties. Um, the everyday life, um, many lost jobs, uh, the situation is really uh, not normal, the difficulties that we are encountering, mental health and psychological preparedness are necessary, especially now that we are in the midst of the new normal. So amid that, Okay, you can always have a happy disposition. That's, I think, the call for this uh, situation that we are in. Despite this um, disturbing fact, we will still be able to handle our lives and be able to deliver the lessons well on the part of the teachers. For our students to be able to grasp the provided knowledge, competences, and skills, and the parents, no, for them to handle the situation properly. The reality is, we are in the midst of the problem, but we will not allow the problem to distract us. We will not allow the problem to delimit us. The problem is an opportunity no, that we can uh, find solutions. So even DOH, no, their teachers, our students, no, our their parents, even DOH is reminding us to take good care of our mental health. No, um, mental health is really necessary. No? It takes one to be responsible for himself or herself to live a fuller life. Confronted with all the situation, no considering that mental health and psychological preparedness is really necessary now, I was able to download this short video on how we will be able to protect our mental health during COVID-19. So here's the video. While social isolation is a crucial measure to tackle the current COVID-19 crisis, the worry and distance from loved ones can be tough on our mental health. 
Here are six tips to help reduce stress and protect your mental health during this difficult time. Maintain familiar routines as much as possible or create new ones. Still having a structure for your daily life at home brings a sense of normality and can be especially important for children. If you're working from home, try to set boundaries for a better work-life balance. A good tip is to add your working hours to your calendar. Take care of yourself. Try and ensure you get adequate sleep, eat well and engage in physical activity. Take a media break. Constantly watching the latest news about COVID-19 can cause anyone to feel anxious and distressed. Instead, seek news from trusted sources at specific times of day, ideally only once or twice. Protect yourself and support others. Shifting focus to help others, whether it's phoning neighbours to check in on them or helping a friend in need, can boost your mood and theirs. Connect and share positivity. Even in difficult situations like this, there are still good news stories and examples of hope and recovery in every community. Amplify these messages by sharing them with friends, family and colleagues. Use strategies that have helped you relieve stress in the past. You know yourself best and so think about what calms you and boosts your mood. Finding a way to exercise, connecting with friends, make these activities a priority in your day. Try to separate what's in your control from what's not. Focus on the things you can do to help, like washing your hands, staying at home and checking in with your community, rather than taking on worries you can't solve. For more advice on looking after your mental health during lockdown, follow the World Health Organization's Healthy at Home hashtag on social media platforms or visit www.who.int. So how did you find the video, no? And this is very substantive in terms of information that we can really take good care of our mental health. Again, another material from the World Health Organization especially for our children and our learners perhaps. Uh, according to this uh, presentation, our children may be able to respond to stress in different ways. Uh, they can be clingy, anxious, withdrawing, angry, agitated, bedwetting, or oh, mga bata. What do you experience right now? Um, do you feel you are greatly affected by COVID and what's your reaction to that? Huh? And if whatever reaction is normal for that matter, no? it happens because you are disturbed, no? you are anxious about things. That's why um, your parents are there, your teachers are no? here to give you the support that you need, no? that you need. I just hope you will be able to also reciprocate by just feeling comfortable that I, you are secured, no? We secured with the support and the love they give you. But uh, make sure, no? Make sure that you make yourself safe, no? Make yourself safe. Do not give your parents any more trouble. Um, don't add any more to the problems around given by COVID. Okay, and most importantly, allow yourself to um, communicate with the parents. Di ba yung sinasabi ng COVID-19 also offered a lot of opportunities for us because it is. Uh, a way by which we were able to give time already. No, there is quality time supposedly in our family. We will make use of this time to bond, to communicate, diba? especially that we are not also allowed to be going out. Okay, so 
you are keeping your own routines and schedules as much as possible. Uh, I hope these routines uh, is helping you to learn new things and being able to really understand the situation around is also one way by which you will be able to um, be mentally healthy. Here's specific tips for our teachers, no? Dear teachers, um, as like the students and the parents, we are the master of our own selves. Whatever happens to us is actually within our control. Uh, it's a fact that the teaching learning platform has been greatly affected by COVID. Nevertheless, the teachers can still be the best visual they can be when they uh, do no, the new normal uh, teaching and learning platform. And what are the tips for the teachers who are able to look into this no, through our internet? Accordingly, reconnect to your purpose. Very important. Um, teaching is such a noble profession. So we know why we are here, whether for... Um, Whatever reason there is, whatever uh, difficulty there is, it's very important that we truly understand you know, why we are reconnecting again with our profession, especially that the opening of classes will soon come. Another one is adapt a growth mindset in your teaching. It's a different uh, platform. It's, um, you, it will be using your modules, either you choose the online, students using online, television or radio. What is most important is we have a focus, you know, a mindset that this will be already the situation. Therefore, I should be able to adjust fully well to that. Also focus on kindness and gratitude. There are many unemployed. When I hear complaints, you know, when I hear my uh, friends complain, when I hear many people um, talking badly about the situation, why don't we no, realize the fact, pasalamat tayo kasi may trabaho pa tayo, pasalamat tayo kasi buhay pa tayo. Every morning when you wake up, I think it's an opportunity for us to be thankful to God. We still have food to eat despite the difficulty. You know? It still is a way to be thankful and to show kindness to people who is giving us uh, support, motivation uh, as we experience all these difficulties. But of course, you, know, you have your own private life. You are having your career life. Accordingly, we have to create clear boundaries between the home and the school. You have your own time, no? only that it's a home, no? it's a home experience, but you have your time for your school work and time for your home activities, even if it will be done, no? teaching and learning will be done in your home. Set up effective debriefing and mentoring structures is very, very important. I think um, if we are so concerned with our learners on how they will be coping or the parents on how they could assist their children, we should also be concerned about us. It's important. It's very, very important that we fully understand the situation we are in, that we fully realize that the situation, it may not be of our wanting, but it is the reality. So how difficult it may be, we have to be able to adjust ourselves to the situation. And never forget to have a good sleeping habit. No? Um, it's very important you we should have enough sleeping hours to keep us um, healthy, no? to keep us alive, to keep us 
in proper disposition. Pag walang tulog, it's like, no, mahina ang kalooban natin. Pag walang tulog, moody, stress, di ba? Pwede may mga mag- magawa ka na hindi ka aya-aya sapagkat antok ka, wala kang tulog and the like. And that will affect your your uh, delivery, no? The delivery of your um, uh, activities and tasks, both your teaching as well as your Um, household uh, concerns. Build up your emotional resilience. Very, very important. Um, emotion is very important to handle. Um, this will allow us to no, to feel good despite the difficulty when we are emotionally balanced. Uh, they will always be smile around, no? parang uh, uh, tawanan mo ang yung problema, di ba? It's like you're able to still laugh, still laugh with your friends, with your family. You enjoy what you're doing because emotionally you feel good. It's a fact. It's there is a problem, but what more can I do? Simply to adjust or adapt or embrace it and become better. Do things that will um, make you happy or happier for that matter. And focus your goals. What's the goal for school year 2020-2021? Providing modules uh, regularly to your students will, of course, um, be tiring on your part. Checking all those materials again giving assessment to your students i could i could anticipate the difficulty of being able to cope with the requirements no routinary activities as well as add on requirements that we may be be given to us but this is part of our responsibility this is part of our task so i think Focusing on your goal, every day you have something to do. So when you wake up in the morning, then what happens after? And then how are you going to fix yourself? Maintain a special place also within your um, your parameters. So you will not uh, cram with your everyday activities. Focusing on your goals, men. We usually have um, deadlines. Huh? We have reports to prepare despite uh, the new normal. We are still responsible to accomplish uh, certain requirements. Okay, You have reports to prepare. You have instructional materials to check. Instructional materials to review, instructional materials to polish, all this one after the other. Beside the fact that we also encounter, we have also our own personal agenda, family agenda, iba? your children's agenda if you are married. If you have a boyfriend, your boyfriend will also need time from you. Everybody, I suppose, no? have uh, different uh, needs, different um, uh, difficulties that will be encountered. But what's most important is we focus on the goal. One one at a time will do, diba? One at a time will do. If you're able to program your schedule, I know you'll be able to do that. Reward yourself. Yeah. Give a pat on your shoulder. No? Tell yourself, oh, you did great. Or you may want to have a coffee break, diba? You may want to order from an online, magpa-deliver. Oh, yan ang uso ngayon eh. You are yourself. You like to eat an ice cream. And then ang, ano yan, food panda. Yan, they now is able to deliver kahit ano. Or as long as may pera tayong pambili. So, reward yourself. Guro. Have a break also, no? Have a break. Even if you stay at home, no? Because you will be required to stay at home. 
uh, you have a schedule to keep up. Huh? When you are allowed uh, or requested to go to school, huh? be cautious okay. enough so that the best reward you can give yourself is to be COVID-19 free. No? The best reward is to be healthy no? and gay. Man. I think that's the best thing we can reward ourselves. And build new connections and relationships. Yeah, I, I think this is time, sabi nga, uh, that one that I was able to check on the social media. COVID-19 offered us also opportunities. No? There are also opportunities that COVID-19 has provided us. And it's up to us how we will be able to find beauty in the um, little things that is no in our in our midst. We can still laugh. You still can provide a good laugh. Okay. You can still sing the 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 song that you like to sing. You can still eat the the food that you like to eat. And most important thing is you are able to wake up every morning and realize that you are blessed because you are alive. You know? COVID-19 is not in our life, in our midst. So dear teachers, we can do this. You know? We can do this. I'm anticipating to you all uh, that um, just like here in the of slides no you have a lot we have a lot of things to do we have a lot of adjustments to make but one good thing is we are ready physically mentally emotionally spiritually okay we are ready to face the challenges of the new normal what about our learners or oh, dear students i know you are there uh, this is not good for you staying home. In fact, I see a lot of young people moving around already. No? Uh, it's okay if you would like to get out of the house. I know the parents are also cautious, just be reminded to do uh, health, the needed uh, safety measures. Remember that um, your health is at stake. Okay? So be nice to yourself. Be nice to yourself. Love yourself. If you love yourself, you will be nice to yourself. If you love yourself, you like to live. So we'll be able to um, see the best of life when COVID-19 is not anymore present. So you do exercise. Exercise. Right? Eat healthy. Mm. We eat healthy means eat the food provided you, no? Ngayon, we were encouraged to uh, do our vegetable garden. Many people don't anymore go to the market facing the risk na baka positive. Na? Positive, merong positive dyan. So, um, from your own backyard, siguro naman ilang ba sa inyo dito ang tumulong na sa mga magulang ninyo? para magtanim at para makakuha kayo ng mga sarili niyong tanim na mga gulayin at prutas. Very important yan. Okay? Bawal muna yung pork. Be careful kasi may ASF. O, baka yung kinakain natin, mga junk foods o lalong hindi tama yung kakain kayo ng junk food. Of course, sleep well. It's very important. No? Wake up in the morning. Yan, feeling good because you slept well. No? You went to bed early and then woke up just in time. And that would mean um, you are taking good care of yourself. Okay? Para malakas ang resistensya against COVID. Put the screens to sleep before you go to bed. Siyempre katabing matulo ang cellphone, naka-on ang laptop, or ang personal computer okay so this should be made clear no if you could shut down the screens so there will be no beeping at the middle of the night you will wake up no patulugin mo naman yung cellphone mo yung laptop yung computer no? para lahat kayo makapagpahinga 
and more often breathe deep. No? Sabayan siguro yan ng meditation. Salamat, buhay pa ako. Thank you, I am still alive. Of course, hindi naman pinagbabawalan, connect with others. No? You have a lot of friends. No? Yun lang. Uh, mahirap sa bulsa ng mga nanay at tatay kasi syempre, hingi tayo ng hingi ng panglo. Pero importante din. Connecting with others allow you also to um, mangumusta. Please, you have a way to comfort each other this in the midst of pandemic, to share stories, still to share your dreams. Sana pag natapos na ang COVID, magandang buhay na mangyayari. Write down ways to relax. Okay? Do you know journalizing? No? It's being encouraged. I've read that many times. You have, can make a journal. If uh, we are in a state of emergency until September 21, 2021, so you have enough time. No, start journalizing. Okay, ano bang pecha ngayon? You have one year. Tingnan mo nga after September 21, bakana naman, no? Bakana naman meron na tayong vaccine. Bakana naman na bago ng buhay natin. Gumanda na, wala na si COVID. And then you go back to your journal. Diba? You go back to your journal. And you'll be able to get no, the best uh, experience you have had because you were able to document them. Siguro ang ganda ng ganda. Find support and be supportive. You have your loving parents there. No, Follow what your parents are asking you to do. No, um. You have friends there, concerned friends, um, who will be of help to you. On the other hand, you will also be of help to them. Take small steps. No, do not rush. Okay. Um, do not uh, be disturbed by the fact that the 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 usual activities you have been doing, you will be you are not doing that anymore. Kung ano lang muna ang andyan, that's something that we have to enjoy. Kasi nga, hindi natin alam kung an- anong mangyayari pag tayo ay magkasakit. We know for a fact na marami nang namatay, kahit mga doktor pa, nawala sila. No? Sa kakatulong sa atin, nakalimutan nila ang sarili nila. You see that? So these are our modern day heroes. So what can we do also para we will also be able to help our frontliners para our parents will no, no longer worry so that our teachers will be comfortable no they know they've been sacrificing preparing the instructional module so do your share no take small steps do what you can manage but make sure within given time these small steps will lead you to thousand steps after all Every beginning has an end. I am hopeful that COVID-19 will find its way out from our lives. No? Sa iba naman siyang uh, lugar dito sa universe pumunta at wag nang, wag nang bumalik pa. Okay, dear students, uh, there's so much opportunity awaiting you in the future. Be future ready. Be purpose driven. Habang ang sitwasyon ngayon limitado, pero it should not curtail you from doing your best and preparing your best in the future. And for our parents, dear parents, I know that you are so concerned with the welfare of your children, but no, you are a partner of development. You are a partner of the institution. You are a partner of the school where your child belongs. So, for the parents, no, how do you think will we be able to preserve also our mental health? For most, our responsibility is care for your basic needs. Yan, no? Care for. Siempre yun ang unang gagawin natin. There may be limitation, na wala ng trabaho, or ito na lang ang mayon, medyo kulang. So, whatever it is. Well, we make priority for the basic needs. Okay, so there are new opportunities this pandemic brought to us para to augment, no? to augment whatever income you have. 
and we see a lot of people doing this na wala nang impossible kaya sabi ng anak ko kanina ha na nauubos na yung mga tanim sa kabundukan kasi lahat na lang pinagbibili ngayon lahat na lang pang decorate no? di ba so that's important siguro also you also deserve a good rest ha prioritize bed time go to bed early sleep well no sleep well and have a good um, resolve that this covid-19 will leave us soon but of course you set boundaries around your activities do not overdo things ah? do not um, worry so much para hindi kayo ma stress there is a time for everything no there is a time for everything uh, perhaps covid-19 may simplified our life and it's okay no para na simplify ang buhay natin ni, ni covid ha ni covid so mas maigi at least meron na tayong enough time for everything but siguro you just manage your your no your disposition towards these activities you have around Okay. Huwag nang makikipag-inuman kung saan yung mga tatay natin. Kasi pag uwi mo, meron kang sampung anak, may napagagandang asawa. Later, what will happen to them? Then, narinig na lang natin sa radyo. Kasi nakipag-inuman, iisang baso ang ginamit. So, ayan, naapektuhan na pag uwi niya, naladala niyan si COVID. Hindi na sila iniwanan. And there are sad stories behind not being able to set boundaries with our activities. Okay, take mental health break. Very important. Once in a while, no, we just have to be quiet. No, listen to the music. Siguro praying. No, ako personally sabi ko nga. Uh, this allowed me to have more time for myself. So I I find time always to pray. I find time always to thank God. If you check on my Facebook, you know, every time I wake up, I look to the heavens and thank Him you know, with all the blessings given us. And that also allows me to at least uh, find solace and peace and tranquility, you no? Know, because this is what we need. So, alisin na muna yung mga problema, ang bigat ng mga problema dyan, kung ano-ano pa dyan. Papahingahin naman natin ang isip natin uh, with, with simple things that will make us smile, okay? Focus on activities that make you feel better. No? Yung sinasabi ko nga kanina, ang dami-dami na ngayong mga nadiskubre yung pagkakaabalahan. And look at how busy now the online is. Uh, baka meron ka dyang Uh, isang napakasarap na luto na pwede mo pang ipagbili no i think that's so- something you could form part already of the uh, online business or anything that will make you feel better okay go back to stitching go back to gardening go back to doing um, things that lighten your burden so anything that will make you happy if in case you like to try singing again why don't you do singing if you like to do uh, um, sewing ayan do sewing diba? so anything that will make you feel better but just like you no know, our teachers our students you can also connect find active ways to connect ayan. Mangumusta para kumustahin din. Okay? So, mag, mag-like man lang, mag-heart, heart, dyan sa messages. Once in a while lang, no? Pero ako, I, I, do, I do that only when time is allowed. Sa, sa akin, when I wake up in the morning, and then I take a good shot of the mountain na, na tatanaw ko, no? And then we post na ko after that, marilax relax na, okay? Because at least it also lightens the burden, and I am ready to face the new day again. And 
most importantly, amid the lived experience, amid the difficulty, amid COVID, feel good, no? Feel good. Yun na lang sabi ko na every day we wake up, buhay pa na ako, no? Buhay pa, wala akong sakit, hindi na guubo-ubo, hindi na wala ang lasa. Ay, we are still so blessed, no? We are still so blessed. And this will allow us to work well with our teachers, with our principal, work well with other parents, no? that will allow you to monitor, to assist your son or daughter. This will allow you to find four ways. So you will be able to provide, no? you'll be able to provide the needs of your family by helping together, no? So, mas maraming oras na kayo bilang mag-asawa na mag-loving-loving. Oh, di ba? More time with the family. More time to bond. So, dear parents, take this as the opportunity. Perhaps, no? From March till today, go back, reflect, what have we been doing? May mga nasayang bang panahon? Baka pwede pa nating ayusin yan. Okay? Ayusin natin yan. Habang pinagahandaan ang pagpasok ng mga bata by October 5, ano ba ngayon ang pagkakaabalahan natin para mas mapaigting ang samahan ninyo bilang isang pamilya? Para yung ating mga anak, no? Habang sila ay mag-aaral sa bahay, mabigyan natin ng panahon at matulungan, no? matulungan sapagkat ang pagod at serbisyo naman ng ating mga guro, dapat yun ang ating pahalagahan. Let us give importance and value to the sacrifices our dear teachers, our principals are doing. No? I just listened to the congressional no, session by no Congressman Marco Leta and um, the DepEd officials were put in a hot spot, diba? There were a lot of problems being thrown to them. No, the use of funds is being questioned. The preparation of the instructional materials being questioned. No, the modular materials being questioned. Everything, para para nakakaawa wala nang tayo ginawang tama, diba? So. Dear parents and dear learners, our schools under the tutelage of your principals and then our teachers are doing so much uh, sacrifices so that you will be given a good future. For now, uh, where the situation maybe is limited, we can still make use no, and um, pro- make ourselves um, experience the best learning if we simply co- cooperate, support, diba? do our own share in building a better school year 2020-2021. Isipin na lang natin ah, the opportunity to be able to come to attend school is something. Remember in the slide that I was able to find, um, there are a lot of students greatly affected. No? There are a lot of individuals who have lost their lives. A lot of people who lost their mental balance. But tayo, buhay tayo. Ha? Buhay tayo, may pagkakataon na makapag-aral, makapagturo ang mga anak natin. So this is one blessing, I hope, that we will be able to safeguard. So the challenge is how do we beat, no? How do we beat the ill effects of the pandemic? This is a big challenge. And this reality that I am showing you in the slide is something that will fully allow us no, to, to understand that uh, something something along the way was greatly affected no we were greatly affected and there was crisis but with the new reality that the educational institutions have to grapple with i hope we are together no we will be together in support 
to the opening of school year 2020-2021. Why? Because it's in our hands to take good care of each other. Let us take good care of each other by doing our fair share. No? We have our own responsibility to make ourselves mentally healthy. A lot of responsibility that despite the COVID, we will still be happy individuals. Despite the pandemic, we can still see uh, a better world. No, It still is a better world for all of us. So it's in our hands. And the most important thing is we are able to take good care of each other. Okay? So for now, we cannot hold hands together. This is just symbolic. Kapi may may tao na sana dadating ang panahon. Ayun, we can we will be able to hold hands together to make each other feel no better. Make each other feel that hey, we will be okay. No, we will be okay together. So that would mean, no, that would mean there's so much to enjoy in life. That's one thing, no. There's so much to enjoy in life. Basically, no, dear parents, you are essential stakeholders. Never forget that, okay? Um, you have the voice and control over what's happening um, within your family, no, your children, especially now that. Uh, our focus is to make sure that our children will end up successful and the positive involvement of the parents are really needed. And for pa- our parents, uh, education is a shared commitment. No? We have dedicated teachers. Your children are highly motivated with enthusiastic parents. Therefore, we will be able to do the best for school year 2020-2021. And according to this, no, we believe that now more than ever before, parents need to understand the learning process and their roles in their children's education. So ngayon, you don't have to go to school to attend meetings. Sa bahay na lang po, dyan kayo. Eh? So mabigyan ng panahon ang mga uh, estudyante um, may pang pagkakataon siguro uh, makakausap din ninyo ang inyong punong guro ang, in, ang mga guro ng mga anak nyo but of course observing proper distancing healthy protocols will be observed and that's a very good way where we will be able to show uh, the relationship and cooperation for our students no? to have quality learning and self-development. And at the end of the day, accordingly, no, sabi ni Jane Bihal, the most overwhelming key to a child's success is the positive involvement of parents. Remember, you are the first teacher. Okay? You are the first teacher. So, it's your positive involvement as a parent in the life of your a son or daughter success that will actually give no the best um, thing in the life of our children. So connect, no connecting home and school makes us a great community of learners. So let us not forget, dear parents, huh? Na, napakalaki po ang responsibility natin na iba lang po ang scope. Because now you have uh, so much time to assist your children, so much time to look after them. Remember, they will follow a certain class schedule. No, they will also have a certain class schedule. Then they will also have recess. Ayan. So at least handa na pag recess na yung mga bata kakain din. Ang pagsagot nila ng instructional material should also be sana magi maayos din, magi maayos din. And it is now your guidance. Kayo ang makakakita sa mga gawain ng mga anak natin. So, um, nasa sa inyo na po kung paano ninyo i-handle ang mga bata na yung mga bata hindi naman um, masyadong ma-stress. No? Ikaw naman po hindi ma-stress. And even our teachers will not be stressed because 
the, the modules being provided are properly answered no, by our students with the assistance of the parents. And I think pipirma po kayo doon sa mga, mga uh, gawain ng mga anak natin. No? Pipirma kayo to show support, no? to be acknowledged by the teachers. Okay? And of course, um, according, no? parent plus teacher is equivalent to an educated child. Ayan. So, kung noon, minsan it's so tempting na pag nagpatawag ng homeroom meeting, ah, ah, nagpadala lang ng sulat, Dear Mom, I'm sorry I cannot attend. Oh, Di ba? Ah, nagpatawag ng homeroom meeting, ang pinadala yung katulong. Nagpatawag ng homeroom meeting, walang nagrepresent sa anak. Okay? So, at least now, dear parents, uh, you have full time and attention to your children. Hindi naman siguro palaging babantayan nyo. After all, malalaki na yan. These are no, young adults already. But at least, mangumusta man lang po. No? Check also once in a while, random lang. You check on the modules kung sinasagutan ba ng maayos ng bata. Para naman, inspiring sa part ng teachers yan. Okay? Remember, the greatest <clears throat> hope in our world, excuse me, no? is education and that will of course redound to the education of our children okay so that's very important there no that's a very important uh, thing there children are the priority diba children are the priority and um Change is the reality. So ngayon, binago tayo ni COVID, binago tayo ng pandemic. Oh. But, collaboration is the strategy. Ayan. So, we will not be doing to each his own. There are teachers are there, the learners are there, the parents are there. Okay, supervised by our principals and administrators under the umbrella of DepEd, it is not possible not to make school year 2020-2021 a success. Okay, remember, our children are the priority. Change is the reality na bago tayo. But amid sa pagbabago, Collaboration is the strategy. So, um, to the world, our teachers may just be teachers to their students, but more than that, they are heroes. <clears throat> okay? So, when the COVID-19 horror is over and we go back to our normal lives according to this, okay? Never forget that during the crisis, we were not desperate for lawyers, actors, athletes, or reality TV stars. We needed teachers. No? One among the frontliners needed are the teachers, doc along with doctors, nurses, shop workers, delivery drivers, and countless others who we usually take for granted. Okay? So now we realize how important teachers are. Okay. Huh? Indeed, teaching is a noble profession. We may be distant, but together, no? ways we can unite and beat COVID-19. Together, we will get through this. Beautiful. No? Distant, but together, ways we can unite beat the COVID-19 together, we will get, get through this. So, what do we have to do? Okay, we stay connected. Stay connected together, we will get through this. So, one of the ways, we will all be mentally, mentally healthy, is when we connect, we care for each other. You know, parang sabi natin, Alone, you cannot do much, but together, 
we can do much. Okay, so to our teachers, most especially, I'm sure the parents and the learners would like to express this. No, uh, thank you for continuing to teach no, our children from afar during the coronavirus. This is no, we can still stand on no, and remain thankful to our teachers despite the distance, despite the uh, limitations brought about by COVID. Okay, education will continue because uh, the teachers are there to assist the learning process of our children. So, beginning ni palakpak na ang mga guru. Palakpakan naman natin ang mga guru. Okay? Palakpakan ang mga magulang na sumusuporta ng sobra-sobra. At palakpakan ang mga estudyante na gagawin nila ang tama para masa ang mga maayos ang kanilang pag-aaral sa napaka-challenging na taon na ito. This is a very challenging year that COVID did to us. But together, together, we can make a difference. So, I think it's quite familiar to our, no, to our children, to our students, mga nanonood ng Netflix. Sabi doon, it's okay to not be okay. Okay, if you're sad, this pandemic at times, no? That's okay. If you're hopeful, that's okay. If you're angry, that's okay. If you're hungry, that's also okay. If you're tired, that's okay. If you're stressed, that's okay. If you're worried, that's okay. And if you're just okay, that's okay. So this is life in the midst of COVID. But we can still be happy. We can still be good. We can still be the best version of ourselves. So that's the challenge that I'd like to leave all of you. Be the best version. No, no, despite the pandemic. Many good good things will still happen. There can be miracles if you believe. Oh, di ba? Ko lang. Uh, we, we can experience miracles in times of stressful situations. Just believe in yourself, but do your fair share. So you remember this. Remember, no? Their parents, our students, our teachers, our dear principal are really doing all of this. You are so much stronger than we think. Yeah. Huh? We will get through this together. So, take care of yourself. Let's take care of ourselves. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. Okay? Don't give up. But remember this. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay aware. Stay calm. Let, let's look forward to be together once again. No? Um, COVID will be ahead. No? It will not be forever. There will be a way. God will not allow this to remain with us. Again, the rating that they say, strictly observe how possible, be physically, physically, psychologically, emotionally, and mentally. You are not alone. Compassion is the most valuable attribute because we care for each other. Be part of the solution, and most importantly, pray and anticipate. There is a God who will never leave us helplessly. 
Thank you for listening and God bless. Bye-bye.